Here's the bag that I'm going to be using, which is kind of... It's funny because this is the same labor bag that I use for my daughter. So it's like, oh my gosh, it kind of gives me the chills that I'm using this bag again for the same reason. It's just, it's kind of crazy. But I did pull up Ultimate Hospital Checklist for Mom. So we're going to go through this. Again, I'm going to tell you what I, I think you really do need versus what is kind of like more of a want. But your birth plan, that would be helpful. I actually have um, a birth plan here telling me what to do if I have strong painful contractions. Um, they said they should be at least coming every five minutes, lasting one minute each and continuing for at least one hour. You should be evaluated. This also has like a bunch of phone numbers and like where I should go. So it says if I'm going to the hospital, use the main entrance. That's during like business hours. Well, the hospital never technically closes, but I think the front doors close at a certain time and then you have to use the emergency. If this occur, the contractions occur during office hours, call the office for the appointment. If it occurs at night, you should go directly to the hospital and call labor and delivery to let them know that you are coming. Um, if you are going into the hospital, it's not necessarily necessary to call the physician and call the nurses will notify us when you arrive. This tells me what to do if my water breaks, which my water didn't break with my first daughter. I was having like severe contractions and pretty much right before I started pushing, my water broke. Um, so I'm not going to rely on my water breaking to go to the hospital. I'm going to rely on my contractions. Um, and what happens if I have bleeding, any of that fun stuff. So this is definitely something that I want to keep like readily available so once I'm done packing my actual bag this is gonna go right on top because it has important numbers okay a robe um I could see why they recommend a robe I might recommend a robe too because at least in my hospital they had like they had the room that I delivered in and then once she was cleaned up and like given to me and stuff we were escorted by a wheelchair into another kind of room where we stayed for the remainder of our time there and then there was like a little kitchen down the hallway that I could go to and pretty much help myself on so if you want to be comfortable and like you're walking around the hospital or something like robes you want clothes that are loose fitting um and they're just really comfortable. Like you don't want to be glamorous in the hospital. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend like bringing makeup or anything. And we'll get into that a little bit later. But a robe is definitely something that I would recommend. I'm probably not going to bring mine just because they are so bulky. And I only have so much room. Um, I'm not going to be leaving my room very often. So, but that is a good recommendation. Toiletries. Yes, you do want toiletries. You are going to want to shower after I promise you. I actually have to make a trip to Walmart, but I did bring up my toiletries because you want those little like travel size. They're really great, really inexpensive, but I have some body wash, um, some conditioner. I really don't use a whole ton of shampoo, so I'm not even going to really bother. Plus they might have some there, kind of like a hotel <laughs> if I really wanted some but just to have some of these of my own I mean, I'm gonna keep them out until I get my hands on those little um travel size bottles which I need to go to Walmart later today anyway so I'll be getting that today and then I'll fill them up um I also have some just facial moisturizer again I'm not gonna be bringing makeup but I am gonna be bringing some makeup wipes just in case like what happens if I go during the middle of the day and I don't have time to like just take off my makeup you know so I'm gonna want something to give myself a fresh clean face I also have some face wash but the bottle is leaking at the moment so that's why I'm not showing you guys that but you are gonna want to like clean up um I also am going to grab one of these little things because it's like an eyelash holder because if I do go during the day and I have a full face and makeup I want somewhere safe to put my lashes so that's just me <laughs> but I am gonna throw that in there so all of this can go in there for now um a little bit of deodorant as well I can pack this now because I have another one downstairs that I can use so this one can stay in my bag those items I'm just throwing loosely in but I would recommend getting like the quart size Ziploc baggies to keep your little like tra like the shampoo travel and the um 
a body wash travel because the last thing that you want is to open up your labor bag and see that shampoo or conditioner has exploded all over your stuff so I would definitely recommend getting little travel size containers but then putting them in like a quart size bag or something to go along with the toiletries as well you might want to throw in some lip balm so I'm gonna throw in some before I forget so the next thing on the list is comfortable clothing as I was mentioning with the whole bathrobe thing you're gonna want to feel as frumpy as humanly possible <laughs> So what I'm gonna be packing is just I have some leggings here um, I have one of my favorite pair of pajama pants. They're super comfortable super fleecy They have like the drawstring um, But I probably am gonna want to keep those loose So like I said, you're only there for like three days Maybe more if you have complications, but I'm not gonna need a whole lot I don't think I'm gonna throw in these couple of bottoms again. I'm not too worried about the way that I look <laughs> after I give birth. Um, just something to be able to just go home in and relax. Um, I also want to pack some camis. I personally love camis. I think they're super comfortable. I wear them all the time. Um, and I just kind of like want to feel myself. I know that sounds weird, but like what would I wear if I'm just relaxing at home? Um, because I don't like hospitals. I think they make a lot of people really nervous. So I feel like the more that you dress in like your favorite clothes and your favorite comfies like it just makes it a little more comfortable for you um i also would recommend packing like a sweatshirt i'm gonna pack my current favorite sweatshirt with them which is the maryland one it's a little oversized on me but it's really warm and really comfortable i don't know what the hospital room is gonna feel like if i'm gonna want something like this but definitely to travel home i'm probably gonna want something like that so that's gonna go in as well i would highly 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 recommend really comfortable socks and or slippers um so i have a couple pair here i have these which are just kind of more on the knitted side but then i have these which is stuck on my bra. <laughs> I have these gigantic socks as well, which are super comfortable um, and super duper warm, but I wanna pack these. And then I also have, I brought up my Mama Bear slippers, which are my, I love slippers. I wear them all the time around the house has all green stuff on it. I don't know what that is. Um, but because I use these every single day, I want to keep these out. Um, you know, if I have a feeling that I'm going to labor, I might grab them. But knowing that I have two pairs of socks in here anyways, um, I think I'll be pretty okay. But because, again, like if I wanted to travel down the hallway and go get myself um, like a snack. But like you don't want to put on shoes. So just throw on a pair of socks um, or like the slipper socks are even better. For you Usable drinks. Um, this was actually a really good idea, and I didn't have this with my first hospital, so I am packing just like an empty canteen so that way I'm able to fill up with water and keep it like right on my bedside table. I felt like every time I wanted a drink with my first daughter, like I had to keep leaving and going to the kitchen. So that is something that I didn't pack the first time that I would definitely recommend having. This is where, like, uh, they say an extra large, an extra large, an extra long cell phone charging cord. I actually have one of those, but I use my charger every day and I don't have like a spare. So that, that is one of the things that I would have my husband bring. So he's going to bring like my iPad, um, my laptop, my laptop charger, my phone charger. Um, I'm going to, when I get really close to my labor, I'm going to put my camera away. I'm going to pack my camera away in case I want to take like hospital photos or like I'm planning on vlogging a little bit, but at the same time, like I really want to spend that time with my son and bonding. So I might just use like my phone for vlogging or something, but it might be nice to have my camera to take like really nice photos if I want to. So any like electronic stuff like that is going to be like last minute items. Um, they recommend nipple cream. I don't really, uh, personally, I don't think it's a necessity. Also, I, I don't know if I'll be able to have success breastfeeding or not. So it's, it's definitely something that you might want to throw in your toiletries for sure. But I also think that's something that they have there as well, as well as like nipple pads and stuff. So I wouldn't kill yourself trying to pack all that. Adult diapers. <laughs> 
So it says the hospital will hook you up with pads in those mesh underwear, but many baby list parents said adult diapers are more comfortable and felt more secure. Uh, one thing I didn't realize about giving birth is that you bleed a lot afterwards. Like it's like your period times a thousand for a month straight. Like you have your period for a month <laughs> afterwards and it is it has no mercy. Um so that's definitely something I would recommend. Keep the keep the cute Victoria's Secret underwear for a couple months down the road like you want to feel secure you want to feel as clean as you possibly can you want to keep things under control so pack your granny panties pack your adult diapers I didn't use like adult diapers but I definitely had a couple underwear that were not exactly sexy <laughs> coming with me in my first labor bag and it's true like you're not really gonna care all you want to do is feel comfortable and secure so that it that's a recommendation hey if that works for you that works for you when I go out to Walmart today I'll probably pick up some like granny panty kind of underwear um or like tidy whities or something <laughs> text TJ toilet tree tidy whities <laughs> My husband and I text each other our uh, shopping list so we don't forget, so I might add on to that later, but a portable Bluetooth speaker and a Spotify playlist. Honestly, I don't think you really necessarily need a speaker. I feel like if you have like a couple of electronics and like a really good book, um, I have a book in my car. But um, just something to keep yourself entertained. You're going to have a lot of visitors if that's your thing. I know some parents don't allow visitors, but I let my whole family come in and that took up the majority of my day. And then you're going to be having meals and you're just going to want to spend time with your kids. So I wouldn't worry about like packing for like a plane trip, you know, where you have to keep yourself entertained. But maybe a journal if you're into that, your iPad, your phone, your laptop. I think you'll be good to go. A car seat, of course, you're going to want a car seat available. Well, my husband and I have an infant car seat with two bases, which is like the best thing in the entire world. So we strap in a base permanently into my car and his car, and then that way the infant car seat can literally just click into place. So sorry, quick change of uh, memory card. <laughs> um, all I was saying is that he's going to be taking out our infant car seat. It's packed away at the moment. We got to find our bases, get that strapped into the cars as well. But again, I'm going to be there for a couple of days. So it's not like, oh, I gave birth. Now I need a car seat. Like, you got a little bit of time to prepare for that. But definitely you want to you want to invest in one if you don't have one already. A going home outfit. Now this doesn't necessarily, well, you too. But <laughs> you saw that I just had leggings and um you know, a sweatshirt if it's during the summertime, maybe just like a sundress or something to get you home. Um, but for the baby, you do want to pack a couple different sizes because you don't necessarily know how big or how small they're going to be. So you kind of want to be prepared for that. One thing also is like, I want, I wanted a baby blanket. So that way when he's in the car seat, I can tuck him in really nice. So that's going to go in here right away. I do have this little set, which is probably going to be too big for him, but I did want something for his head. Head, and then it does come with a little pair of booties as well. I mean, my husband's going to heat up the car anyways before we go into it. So it's literally getting from like the hospital door to the car and then from the car to the front door. So you, I'm not really worried about like over thinking what he's wearing home, but I am packing this little thing. It is quite large um but it's for sizes between zero and three months so even if he's really like kind of swimming in it um i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal but it does have a hood um and it's very very warm i figured it'd be something good to bring him home in and then i also grabbed this one which is a little smaller but again it's kind of like that fleece um i'm probably gonna take the hanger off so it can fit a little bit easier but it's just another fleece sort of onesie um so again this one's a little bit smaller oh my gosh my bag is already filling up <laughs> do i need a bigger bag <laughs> and then he ha he has one little outfit going as well which i might just end up taking off the hanger just because i'm running out of space so he has a tiny little 
pair of pants. Again, we already have like socks and booties covered. Um, and then, oh, do I want cool like that? Or do I want this one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the, um, I think I'm going to go with the white one. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I do need a bigger bag though. Do I have, I mean, I have like another little backpack I guess I could bring. So in case everything doesn't fit, like I'll probably put my toiletries in like a small backpack um, and keep this as is. So this will kind of be like my clothing bag and then I'll have a toiletry bag. My Burke cloth still need to go into here. How, I don't know. <laughs> So there's like, I need to still pack those. I can throw the booties in here. <laughs> this bag is at full capacity, so I'm gonna put that there. Pediatrician's contact information. Again, we kind of went over that with the first item. Bottles, I didn't really need, I didn't need bottles when I was there, even though when I, when I used formula, they had formula there. They had little bottles for them to use too, so. I don't feel like that's completely necessary. And it says, do not bring diapers or wipes. The hospital has all the diapers and wipes you'll need. That is true. Just save the space. Keep them at home. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I cannot believe that I actually packed a labor bag. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's scary to me. Um, like I said, I'm going to have this bag and then I'm going to have like a smaller bag um, to keep my laptop in the electronics. Then I'm going to have like a little smaller bag for the toiletries. I'll have to stick these um, burnt cloths in there as well. So Maybe a bigger bag is recommended. I don't know, but I feel like I didn't overpack. I only packed what I actually needed. And then again, there are some items like the laptop, the phone charger that I'll ha just have to grab last minute or have TJ bring with him to the hospital. So we're getting really, really close, guys. It's kind of crazy, but I love you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm really excited to actually see the bag packed, so I am going to leave it by my front door just to be ready to go anytime, day or night, whenever this baby decides to arrive, and I can't wait to meet this little bundle of joy. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, I'll feel better pretty soon. Um, you know, I'll have a little bit of time to work on some videos I guess in the hospital so we'll see if I can kind of get back into the groove of things but please excuse me because I don't really feel all that well <laughs> uh, okay guys I will talk to you very very soon bye